Greetings, foolish mortals, and welcome back to 13 Days of Halloween. This is day one of 2017, and um, yeah, I'm super stoked to be uh, doing this again. Uh, this is kind of an idea I got a couple years ago, and uh, we're on our third year. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, when I started doing it, so did a lot of other people. So it's nice to see that uh, it's not just me being a weirdo during Halloween time. It's everybody. So that's cool. Uh, but today we are looking at a figure I've been wanting to review for a very long time. And that is the Motu Classics Skeletor. Now this is, I believe, the first reissue. Um, I'm not too sure, but uh, I got... All of the stuff you see in front of you is kind of a team effort. The first thing I got was this sword. Now we'll talk about the sword in a minute because it's uh, kind of important. But the Skeletor himself I got from T-Biz. The uh, Havoc Staff. I got from Cobra Supremo on Instagram. And the sword... If you remember a few weeks ago, I got from my uh, good buddy John Gaither. So this was a team effort <laughs> getting me this thing. And the best part is I didn't pay a cent for it, which is awesome because this dude is not cheap. So uh, I'm super stoked to be uh, reviewing this guy finally. I am missing the half sword thingamabob, but... I'll get that down the line. It's not a priority. And uh, I don't really need it for the review because it's basically just this, but split in half. So uh, we'll get on to this uh, review here. And we're actually going to save this for later. Um, looking at Skeletor himself, of course, he comes with his purple power sword. A purple people eater, that's a different thing entirely, but. Um, Really nice. Um, I don't. Well, I did once with Faker, um, who I do have uh, still. I don't have a lot of classics. I mean, I got a chunk, but nothing crazy. Not as much as uh, some of my buddies, like T Biz or Doctor Twisted. But um, yeah, they'd be able to tell me how many of this they have. They probably got like twenty of them. So. Uh, the power sword, pretty uh, simple, and then the uh, Havoc Staff, which, you know, people are like, oh, it's hard to get in his hand. Well, you put it in at the skinny part, oofballs. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty much just solid purple. I did not know how long this thing was until I got it. I was like, wow, that's really long, because for a time I had the 2000X Staff with that figure. Um, I believe, yeah, the head at the top rotates. Which is nice. I think the skull is a little bit more metallic than the staff itself. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm sort of getting that vibe. And then uh, Skeletor himself. Uh, you know, it's a standard uh, Motu Classics block. Uh, pretty sure. He's got the uh, monster lower arms and uh, feet here. I believe boots as well. Um not too familiar with all the parts just because I don't have a lot of these uh, due to their insane secondary market value um, but yeah you can detach his armor from the back here I'm not gonna do that just because it's just a blue body um, but yeah and uh, you can easily pop his head off and uh, swap it out with uh, other figures. Such as the uh, Alkalalka head, <laughs> as I like to call it. But uh, no, the uh, Alcala head that came with Demo Man. Which uh, is a figure I would like to get someday. Obviously Scare Glow, but you know, I don't make that much. <laughs> I ain't rich, folks. It's the truth. Um... I just get lucky. But uh, articulation, I guess we'll just go over it. It's been such a long time since I reviewed one of these. Uh, his head rotates, obviously, and it uh, gives it some attitude like, what are you talking about, Willish? 
What are you talking about? I don't get it. Hi. And uh, he can look up. He can look down. And yeah, he's he's got a really good uh, range in his head there. Just because of his hood, it allows for a lot of movement. Whereas on other figures, it doesn't. So, kudos. Uh, his shoulders move out to the side a decent amount. It'd probably get him at a right angle here. Eh. That's how far I can get it out, but it's probably able to go a full right angle if you really pushed it. Uh, he's got a swivel in the shoulder, obviously. And the bicep rotates, uh, single hinge at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. I'm surprised these have pins still. Um, Mattel makes some pretty clean figures nowadays, so I'm surprised pins were a thing in this line. Zab so Crunch can move that far forward, that far back. He's got a waist joint, I thought. It's just super tight. That's probably the only thing super tight on this figure is his waist. His hips can do the splits, sort of. For some reason, this moves out further than that one. I don't know. And uh, they move forward a little bit. This is a little bit stiff. Uh, if this was softer, you'd be able to get him in some better sitting poses. Um... He's got a thigh swivel, single joint at the knee, swivel at the uh, calf there, and a hinge at the foot. And he's got ankle rockers. They're a little loose on mine, but, you know, whatever. They're a little loose on some of them. Out of the box, too. Woo! And I dropped the sword. But I'm uh, putting him to the side. We're going to look at this sword. Now, this sword came in a uh, DVD box set. Um, they had all the Filmation cartoon, all the 2000X cartoon, and um, some of the new adventures. Now, uh, it also came with a soundtrack and all kinds of other jibber-jabber, but this was the one thing that stuck out to me. I'm like, oh, I got the sword, but I don't have any figures to give it to because at the time I had none of these. So uh, this was kind of just chilling out in that set for a while. And then I started getting them. And I'm like, you know what? I'll give this to Skeletor. Just so he's got something to, uh, you know, hold on to. Because I didn't have a weapon for him for quite a while. Um, that, you know, came with him. Uh, so I just gave him this. Probably about a year almost. I mean, a little over. But I gave him this, and he's been standing on my shelf with it for a long, long time. And uh, now I finally got the uh, other two weapons I was going to display him with. So uh, he's pretty much uh, good to go. Uh, I'd like to try out the Alcala head, but I don't have it yet. Um, I'd like to get it eventually, but... That's that's one figure I'm surprised isn't expensive for that reason. Because that Alcala has like 20 bucks, but Demo Man's only like... 30 to 40 bucks. So, um, yeah. But Skeletor here, you know, obviously, he's a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, mine's got a little looseness, but it was free. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to complain about that kind of stuff when I didn't pay hardly anything for it. Um, this, like I said, it was a team effort and it was one that was much appreciated. So, uh, T-Biz and uh, Gaither, you can go check out their channels, links are in the description below. And, um, yeah, so that's day one. Stay tuned, we're going to be looking at some uh, other cool stuff, some obscurities and oddities uh, later on. And, uh, yeah, so until next time, hope you enjoyed day one of 13 Days of Halloween. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Catch on the flip suckers. Meow. Anyone else see that ad?